In this video, I will be talking about problem one in your homework, which is a free response question from a prior AP exam. And what I would like you to do for this problem is, uh, before you actually look at, before, before I show you the uh, graphs in the video, stop the video and see if you can graph these on your own. Just challenge yourself. Uh, so in this first one, we're looking at a perfectly competitive market for smoke alarms. And this firm, J&P uh, Company, is, earning, is currently earning a short run positive economic profits. So we want to have two cor correctly labeled side-by-side side side graphs for both the market and the firm. And we want you to show on your, your graph both price and output. And in the graph for the firm, we want you to shade in the area of economic profits. So if you think about that, and you're going to and try and draw these before I actually show them to you, you're going to, it's probably best to put the market graph on the left and the firm's graph on the right lined up so that, well, in the, in the market, you're going to have a, you're going to have an upward sloping supply curve and a, and a downward sloping uh, demand curve. And where, where the market price and quantity equilibrium is, you're going to, you know, draw that line over and that's going to be your demand your uh, that's going to actually be your horizontal demand for a, a constant price on the the graph that you draw for your firm on the right now the way you're going to show if you think about this the way you show uh, short run positive economic profits is by showing the average total cost curve at the point of a production below your price and then sh shade in the area of uh, profit. So uh, go ahead and pause the uh, video and see how well you can draw these uh, graphs on your own before I, I actually uh, show them to you. Okay, the first set of uh, graphs should look something like this, where we have the uh, firm on the right and the market on the left we've got our uh, we have our upward sloping supply our downward sloping demand the price quantity market equilibrium we extend that over for our price which is going to also be our uh, demand also equal our uh, marginal uh, revenue and also equal our average revenue which is not really shown here but that's true um, we want to draw in our uh, marginal uh, cost curve here and where marginal cost equals equals a demand that's where we're going to uh, produce that's our uh, quantity where marginal cost equals demand equals marginal revenue equals average revenue right here. Now, as I said before, we want to draw in our U-shaped average total cost curve. And two things here, you want to make sure that your marginal cost curve intersects your average total cost uh, curve at the average total cost curve's minimum point, where it's at its a minimum. That's going to be, you know, so it's going to be important for you to show that on your uh, graph and then make sure that the at the point of a production that your average total cost is below your price and that's going to show positive positive short run economic profits uh, and then then you want to uh, shade that area in right here okay now part part whatever the part is part C yeah part C okay uh, so now we're going to draw a new set of 
side side by side graphs for the same market in the firm only show what's going to happen in the long run and show your long run equ equilibrium price and quantity in the market and your long run equilibrium price and quantity for J and P company. Now we know that in the long run a firm is going to make zero economic profit or normal profit. So that's going to mean that your average total cost is going to be equal to your price. But what changes? Does average total cost change or does price actually change? So in order to think about that, we need to go over to the market and say, okay, if firms in the if, if firms if in and individual firms in the market are making positive uh, profit what's going to happen as is more firms are going to come into the market which is going to mean that the overall market supply is going to increase so think about what you what curve that that is I, and I just said a supply and think about how you would show a increase in market su supply how that would uh, change or affect the market price and then what that would look like to your uh, firm so once again go ahead and pause the video see if you can draw these uh, graphs on your own and then come come back and check and see how well you did. Okay, let's look at these. What should they look like? Okay, well, as we said, if firms in the market up here are making positive economic uh, profit, then more firms are gonna come into the market, which means that your supply, market supply, is going to increase, which means that your supply curve is going to shift to the right, which means that more quantity is going to be produced. So, you, so the, the the market is is going to supply more quantity into the market at a lower uh, price. So you move from here, uh, a P1 and Q1 to P2, Q2, and then that's going to drive the a price. Uh, down in for each of the uh, firms that are in the market until we r reach long run equilibrium where once again uh, uh, price is going to going to equal average total cost and price is also going to equal uh, marginal uh, cost uh, marginal of revenue and average revenue. So we're moving. So if we go back and, and look here, our a marginal a cost curve did not uh, change. We just moved from here to here. What uh, changed for the firm was the price went down and quantity. So since price went down to to find that point where price equals a marginal cost they're going to produce less quantity here their profit is going to go from positive positive economic profit to zero and in the market we're just going to have a shift to the right of our supply market supply curve which is what draw drives our price down okay what else do we have here? Let's jump back up here to our problem. So now we want to assume that the purchasers of the smoke alarms create positive externalities because there's now that, you know, we're going to uh, overall the uh, uh, town is going to pay less cost in uh of uh, 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 fire damage is you know uh, you would so the uh, fire uh, uh, department's going to have to work less and and we're going to have to do you know so there's there's a positive ex 
externality that's created by these smoke alarms. So we, we want to draw a correctly labeled uh, graph of the smoke alarm market, and we want to label the market equilibrium and the socially optimum. Uh, well, the, the quantity in the market and the quantity that's socially optimum. So what's that going to look like? Well, uh, that's just going to look like, if you think about it, it's just going to be like, it's going to be your a typical uh, supply and demand. And then you're going to show the, and, and uh, remember, the uh, basic supply is your, is your, uh, marginal private cost and your basic demand is your marginal private benefit. What changes here with, with a positive externality is you have a marginal social benefit that's higher than your marginal private benefit. So that's going to change your demand curve. So once again, stop the video and see if you can draw this on your own and then we'll come back and look at it. Okay, let's look at it. Let's look. Let's scroll down here. And so, so we have our uh, typical uh, supply and demand with the marginal private benefit being PM, QM here, and when we factor in our positive externality, that's going to shift our demand curve or a, or a new uh, a demand that we label marginal social benefit up and to the right so that in order to get uh, the optimum uh, a social uh, uh, to uh, be at the optimal a uh, social uh, market equilibrium we want to be at PS QS at, at a higher quantity of supply at a higher price okay and the last thing we that it's asking us is it's asking us what the government could could do to um, encourage, let me just, I mean, since I have it here, let me grab my little blue ball, to encourage, what could the government do to encourage the industry to produce the socially optimum optimum level of smoke alarms? Well, you could, you know, think about that. You, you're going to have to somehow compensate either the producer or the consumer for this increase right here. In price going from here to here so you could do that either by uh, subsidizing the either the, the uh, sellers or the buyers you could uh, uh, you could also mandate that everyone has to buy a, a smoke alarm you could uh, make it a uh, you know housing uh, regulation or you could build in a, a tax incentives saying that you know if you buy a, a smoke alarm you can uh, take that amount off your uh, taxes. So uh, those are the uh, three uh, basic uh, ways that the uh, government could incentivize moving from uh, PM QM to PSQS here. Okay.